to art now and the latest exhibition at Tate Britain explores how over the last 500 years artists from around the world have shaped and had a significant impact on British art. Brenda Manis has been to take a look. Drawing on their vast archives, Tate Britain now offers a unique perspective on the history of British art, charting the movement of artists that made this country their home and their impact on the circulation of art and ideas. This exhibition shows how migration into this country has shaped the course of British art over the last 500 years, from 16th century Flemish portrait painters to contemporary filmmakers. Here we're standing in a room of portraiture, it's looking at artists who came to Britain in the 16th and 17th century and really dominated the territory at that time. Like who, for example? So, for example, Van Dyck, who painted uh, Charles I and his partner Henrietta Maria here. The show explores how artists from abroad were instrumental in the founding of the Royal Academy of Art and how others, fleeing persecution, brought new vibrant ideas with them. During the Second World War in the 1930s, there was, a, there was a particularly strong movement of artists from the continent to Britain who were escaping Nazi Germany. And they were bringing with them avant-garde developments in modern art. The 50s and 60s brought artists from the Commonwealth, some, like Guyanese painter Frank Bowling, experienced frustration at being viewed solely by their ethnicity. He graduated at the Royal College of Art alongside his friend David Hockney. In 2005, he became the first black artist to be elected a member of the Royal Academy of Art. I know the commercial world is very important to artists also, but I think the, the Academy is, um, uh, is not so much a nursery, but... Uh, uh, a holding company for the best of British culture in, in art, you know. So, so when, I, when I finally made it, I was very pleased. And, uh. So what's his view on the Tate celebration of the migrants' influence on British art? It, it's probably not the best show that's ever been in the world, but I think it's a, it's a, a, a very important and seminal show for our time. Yeah. Migration's journey into British art is at Tate Britain until August. Brenda Imanis, BBC London News.